was an update to breaking news we first told you about this morning. We've now learned the name of the man who died in an early morning fire in North Tulsa. Two News reporter Patricia Santos has been following the story since it broke early on this morning. She is live at the scene where she spoke with the family as investigators try to figure out how the fire started. Patricia? Well, 50 year old Jerry Williams was sleeping inside his home here when that fire just ripped through. You can see there's not much left of the mobile home here. Now the area that you're looking at right in front of us here, that is where we understand the kitchen was located and that is the area that sustained the most damage in the backside. That is where the bedrooms were located. Um, this morning as part of the investigation, investigators had to cut through parts of the wall in order to figure out exactly how this fire started. Um, this morning I spoke with the victim's sister who tells me her brother was strongly rooted in his faith. In fact, she says she saw him just last night at church. He just did whatever he could to help anybody and, you know, had helped, helped me through the years and um, I think anyone in his work would say he was a very loyal and trusted worker. He was the guy who would always you could count on him to come into work. Now, Williams is survived by his sister, mother, and nieces and nephews. We know uh, the other person uh, inside the home was a friend of Williams. Uh, the 32 year old man did manage to escape with serious injuries. The fire here at the Elba Terrace Mobile Home Park broke out around 3.30 this morning. The couple who called 911 tells me they saw the flames and then tried to run in to get Williams, but the fire was just too much to handle. Firefighters say it could have also put them in harm's way. When it's fully involved like that, the temperatures are way up. It's liable to flash over. Uh, again, we're wearing protection and it's still very dangerous for us. So. Uh, since they don't have any protection on, they're really risking a lot. And William's sister this morning telling me there were no working smoke detectors inside the home here. Of course, this is a very difficult situation for her family, she says, but they're going to take it just one day at a time. Uh, investigators still do not know yet what caused this fire. Live in North Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News, works for you.